how to color grade to make your footage go from this to this. In this video, you'll find out. For the sake of this video, these will be the clips we'll be color grading. Let's go. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to uh, modify color. Because I shot these clips in HLG, I first have to do an override media color space. This is what it looks like if I don't convert it. Override media color space and rec 709. Alright, first we're going to color grade uh, this uh, studio setup I have right here. So you go to the color panel in Premiere Pro. Uh, here we have, to, uh, and then we are going to the creative tab. We're gonna go to a look. And we're gonna look for the Gold Rush LD Air. Well, as you can see, this is a little heavy. So we're gonna slide it down to around 50. 50 is for me most of the time the sweet spot. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of vibrance around 25 to 50 to give the colors uh, more of a pop. Now we're going to do some basic corrections. What I normally do is I go through all of the slides and I change a little bit and I see what looks good. So uh, this one, the uh, contrast is pretty good. Only the lamps are highlighted, so I'm gonna bring that down. Shadows down. And this, a uh, little bit. Now, if it looks a little bit too yellowish, you can uh, decrease the temperature. And what I sometimes also do is add a little bit of purple tint to give it a little more of uh, feel. What I also do a lot of the time is adding a little bit of vignette, so like that. When you color grade this way, what can happen is that your skin tones will start to look natural. To combat this, uh, you can go to the curves tab and then the, in the U versus saturation, um, we're gonna select uh, the skin color. So I'm gonna get the uh, forehead and I'm gonna you, uh, hold down shift and I'm gonna decrease the saturation. Tiny bits like this and that way you can keep the skin colors a little better all right now for this shot uh, we're going to the creative tab we're gonna add the gold rush ld air nice that already looks uh, really good i'm actually going to keep it at 100 i'm also gonna add a little vibrance to make those uh, blues and yellows come back some more. And uh, the contrast is already pretty much there, so I'm gonna decrease it. And uh, also this one, I'm gonna uh, decrease it a little bit. Also this, like that. Maybe also this. Let's see what uh, a little bit of uh, warmness does to this. Yeah, maybe five. And maybe five. Purple, yes, that's nice. And also a little bit of vignetting, maybe. Well, what do you guys think? Is that good? Yeah, it's, uh, it's doable, huh? All right, uh, this next clip. Uh, the first thing we once again do is we go to the creative tab and we're gonna look for this Gold Rush LD Air. Uh, 100 is actually not that bad, so maybe a little less than 100. Gonna increase a little bit of vibrance, around 50 I guess, yes. Gives the blue and the yellow a little more pop. Then in the basic correction, the contrast is really uh, there, so we're gonna decrease that. Now to uh, keep some more of the blue, we're gonna decrease the highlights a little. And also decrease the shadows a little bit. And then maybe a little bit like that. This maybe a little more warm. And a little bit of purple. And most of the time I just uh, pan the slides and I just see what looks good because I'm not a pro in color grading. <laughs> and once again, a little bit of vignettes. Looks a lot better. All right, for this low light shot, uh, we're, are, we are going back to the creative tab. And we're gonna once again add the clean, uh, uh, the Gold Rush LDR. Oh, nice. That looks not too shabby. 
I'm gonna keep it at this. A little bit of vibrant to make the colors pop. Um, there is a little, there is a lot of contrast, so we're gonna decrease the contrast. There are also a lot of uh, harsh light, so maybe also decrease that a little bit. Uh, it is really dark, so we are going to up the shadows a little bit. And also for the white, I say I will maybe make it a little warmer. And well, we actually don't really need to need the pink because the whole clip is already full of the color pink. It's a little bit of vignetting. Well, how does that look? Yeah, it's better. Some other tips I want to give you is shoot for the highlights. And by that I mean uh, try to expose as bright as possible. For that you can use the zebra setting on your camera. If the zebra starts to appear, you're good to go. If your clip isn't bright enough, then after color grading it will look too dark and less pretty. Use a correct white balance. For me that's mostly around 5600. I normally set the manual white balance by holding a grey card in front of my camera. So there you have it. In the video description I will share the creative LUT that I have used to color grade all of this footage. Uh, these creative LUTs work the best when you use them in the creative tab. So you can manually use the slider to determine how strong you want um, the LUT to be. I will also share all of the clips we have color graded in the video description so you can practice color grading with these clips yourself. If you want to learn how to shoot cinematic videos, then watch this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and take care.